Howdy folks, welcome back to Taylor Burke's Road of the Show Series here, and it will be 23 PS5. I think this is episode 480. Uh, we ended the D-backs undefeated streak this year. They started the season 10 and 0, and uh, our offense didn't really have it, but Taylor did, throwing seven scoreless. Um, and then Roderick and Ray Kern helping out Jason Bauer getting the close. Brandon Roderick didn't help too much. Uh, but yeah, we face the Texas Rangers today. So a former AL or a AL West team, um, you know, whatever. Uh, we used to see them all the freaking time, uh, and they're actually pretty good this year so far, seven and three. So let's check out what they've got going for them. Not in the same spot, I guess. Uh, Rich Martin, Tino Almanzar, Alex Bonilla, Russell Cardova, Damian Lowry, Roscoe Meyer, Connor Lopez, Brandon Lewis. And Alan Yabu. Did we ever play with Brandon Lewis? No. He was a Dodger. I remember him in the Alex Parker series for a sec. This isn't the best team in the world. Uh, we should be able to beat them. So, two more against the D-backs, and then we'll get into it um, to end that Texas series. We lose 8-12. to Bruno Santana gets absolutely shelled um, there in the fourth, or in the fifth, uh, which is awfully unfortunate. Can John Stevenson get us the series victory? Yes, he can. Eight to three. Good job, guys. Um, good offensive day from Termar, John Bauer, Corey Griffin. Uh, Stevenson throws seven innings. Good job. And then Garrett Reed closes us out. So we're nine and four. Great start to the season. And what are we thinking here? Stamina. You see stamina? That's where I'm going. We are on the road again, though. And it'll be Texas, like I said. Walter Ford actually pitched fine, and we lose because the offense couldn't get it going. Winning episodes only need a win here. Nope. <laughs> Had our five going against. No, that was their five, too. Okay. Well, Enrique Perez has had a great year so far. We have as well. Let's go win this. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. Okay, all set to go. Leading off now for Washington. Right, I forgot I did that. To Ernest Rivera. Here's a one one. They say you went. And a one, two, three inning for Enrique Perez, who's been so good this year so far for the Rangers. It's going to be a good pitching matchup today as we drop down a game and a half below the Braves, who are 11 and, a, 11 and 5. Wow, okay. It's going to be a long season. This is a competitive division with the Braves and the Mets and the Marlins, honestly. And playable for I don't know who you are. Sends it over to Carter, one down. Who is that? That would be Charles Perkins. Is he the young guy, I think? There's how our defense lines up today. I think Perkins is a young guy. No, he's 29, actually. Uh, he hits against lefties, and he's pretty good at it. So It's fine. He's a fine fielder. He doesn't have a good arm. and doesn't throw accurately, so that takes a lot off his value in the field. So he's actually not a good fielder. Shouldn't be playing third. Popped up. Carter's all over it. That'll be two down. New NCAA Road to Glory series coming out on the 16th. I'm super excited to start that as the Alex Parker series comes to an end on the 16th as well. Good pitch. Alright. Thinking about putting the Alex Parker series. Or I'm thinking about putting that series in like a 10 a.m. slot and moving this to like 1 p.m. I mean, I haven't been the best about it, but for the most part, I would say 85% of Taylor Brooks's videos go up at 9 a.m. So. And then the Alex Parker series goes up at 12. I'm thinking about switching that to 10 and 1. One, ball, two, one two. And a good pitch caught the outside. He's got to be frustrated with that. 
Not the best call, but we'll take it. That is a strike, Blue. There's a strike. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop -up. Working on those friendships. We should be close to the one with Bauer. It's well inside the first walk of the day. Alan Yabu. Leads off first with one away. That's in for a strike. One ball, one strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Crazy, crazy patience here from the Rangers. Last two batters. That wasn't. Two and two now. Need this K. Got the pop up. Not the best pitch. Settles under this one. And there's two down. Oh, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right so there. Two down. That pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited. Taylor really struggled to get out of. Oh. Good play by Tamar, but not in time. Taylor whiffed on that one with his glove. Gave it a great effort, but I was just impressed by the hustle down the line. Taylor couldn't keep his pitch gap down last game. Ended up throwing seven, which is strong, but not for him. Again. So no two. Pop foul. Oh two. End of the second. So they strand a pair. We played two full. We're tied. Nothing up. Well, Enrique Perez is throwing himself a no-hitter. A perfect game, actually. Just missed. Deeds, 28 years old. Usually in center field, but today starting in left. Like I said, still trying to get all the friendship boosts. That's a big deal for Taylor. He's not got the confidence boosts as well. If I played left field instead of center field, was that... The ball gets out there to you pretty quick, and the most important play is that ball down the left field line. Get to it, cutting it off, making a strong throw to keep so that single. Dietz isn't the best hitter. Need to attack him. Good pitch there, one down. Texas sad that they still have to see Taylor. He absolutely Taylor. Uh, I think he eats Texas. Actually, Texas isn't that bad against him. 2.15 ERA is really good, but not not one of Taylor's best. We're 13 and four. They still don't want to see him anymore. That's for sure. Again, great eye from the opposing team, and Taylor's pitch count is running. Swings and misses. That's strike two. One down, base is empty. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. I guess I'm just going to throw a change up and hope. It's not a good pitch, but... Hey, we get our first level with Jake Bauer. John Bauer, sorry, I knew it wasn't Jake. And we'll get a plus five to control. Pitch in for a strike. He's in there. Batting second in today's lineup, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. That one to first, and that's just foul. The 0 2, 2, two down. Swing Good pitch. End of the third. So no A double from Perkins ends the perfect game, but we do not score. And welcome back. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Alex Bonilla. On the ground. And Is this Perez guy really down. good? It's a genuine question. Is he like phenomenal? Yeah, he's pretty good. 90 overall. Threw a really good season last year. Oh man. Yeah, he's good. Alright, we'll see if we can beat him. 
Russell Cordova stepping in for the Rangers. By the way, Taylor is getting really close to 4,000 career strikeouts, which is an insane number, but we are getting very, very close. We're at 3,983, and so it's going to come next episode, most likely. We're actually at 3,989 now with the 6Ks on today. And a swing and a miss there. Here's the 0-2. To center and it's playable for Calcantara. Two down. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Next up for Texas, Brandon Lewis. So here's Brandon Lewis. Strike one. In there, own one. It's fouled it's off. Ball. So, oh two. That one, 97. Let's see if we can throw it just as hard. Fights we do, but fouled off. Bauer sets up. Pitch 50 is swung through and missed into the fourth. Taylor's settling in and throwing well. And Perez has already done all those things. So five innings scoreless for Perez. Here's Taylor looking for his fifth. Well, these Rangers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been Taylor's ERA is killer right now, but Perez is one of the few that's even better. We're down to point six four. Alrighty. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two, balls, two, two strikes. strikes. And a pitch. The pitch, him. got him. One, away. one down. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. King Tom, batting with one down, takes a strike. This is the zone. One and two to count. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Up next for the Rangers, Tino Almanzar. And that's in there for strike one. A little bit low. One and one. Fouled off, one, two. Ugh. That one missing oh, inside. Man. Two, two. He that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Come on, need this. Need this out here. We gotta get out of this. The relatively Lady decent delivers. pitch count. Mm -hmm. That's in the dirt. Gonna give him one. He's not the best hitter, so. That's a pop-up to Mars there. That'll win the fifth. Still zeros. Who's going to break it first? Not us in the sixth. Come on, offense. I didn't come here to not get any run support. He's too fast. Not in time. He likes it out. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed. We'll probably take off. Oh, and shoot. First and third. Yeah, we might be screwed. The corners, nobody out. Waste no time there. Maybe a little <laughs> We're going to have to pull some Houdini magic here with a 2 3 4 up. First and third. Crazy speed. Still feel like I can strike him out. Good pitch. Come on. 
Good pitch, one down. No, yes he did, dude. Yes he did. Good pitch, who cares, one down. Huge strike out there. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double digit strikeouts, he should be able to wrap And he has six home runs, I'm not sure how. Well, not many of these hitters have had much of That's a strike, Blue. Up for the third time here, watches that one miss. Next pitch misses, and now 2 0. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Blue. Need a pop out. Got a swing through, so 2-2. Two, two. Give him a good change up, Taylor. Oh, beautiful. Two down. One more. Strike one. Taylor bearing down here. Oh, two. So quickly. And the changeup is low. And the right hater deals. That just misses the mark outside the zone. He struck him out. Taylor strikes out three in a row after putting runners on the corners. And the Nationals are still in this one, tied at zero. Oh my gosh, man, score! Someone help me out a little bit. So six innings at 84 pitches isn't quite the best you know, pitch count we've ever had, but we're gonna make it work here. And in a hole right here. He's got to try to shorten up a little bit, put the ball in play. Nope, ball. Never swing at that. It's a ball and two strikes. Pitch 88 on the ground, and it's a base hit. Oh. Really nice job of two strike hitting him at it. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Alan Yabu. Yabu in the box now. So for two. Swing and a miss. With two down. The go ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. He struck him out. One down. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. He's hitting the spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Quintana in the box lays off for ball one. And a foul ball left side. I'm locked in, dude. We got to get out of this. Just off the inside edge. On this count, runner not known for speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Bad pitch. Foul it off. I think the word he swung. He just foul it off. 3 2 change up. It's slow. Uh. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you gotta Still in. Strike one. In the box now. Another Strike situation one. to work your way out of, Taylor. You've done it to yourself. Next offering upstairs. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground. Great patience from the Rangers today. Fouled off. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Good pitch. Two down. Big strike out there as he works to strand that go ahead run at second base. Zane Dietz, a single. It's a beat out of ball in the infield. That's fouled off. Definitely Taylor's last inning here. And a pitch. Fouled off. Weekly hit. And the pitch to Dietz. He got him again. Taylor Brooks. No help from the offense today. We're out for an eight with pitch count at 104. And the fourth time through the order coming up. 
The trust from the manager is crazy. No run support. An absolute pitching duel. That's inside. That's in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. And another ball. 2-2 two, two to Rich Martin. He struck him out. One down. To record the punch out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Weakly hit. But Marco's there. Great play. Two down. What a pitching duel today. Both aces. Working their tails off. And that one might be playable for Perkins. It's caught on the walking track. Okay. Kind of want to see us hit. Just being honest. I just want to see it. Great inning from Taylor. I don't know if he's going to continue. And they will go away from Perez as we head to the night. Both pitchers doing their job. Doing the best they can possibly do today. No runs given up through eight. Next offering way off the plate. Well, he might have to look for a different play Ernest play Rivera, play not off to a great start this year. Need him to get going. He strikes out. He's 0 for 4 today. Goodness. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. No need to off with that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go. Perkins has that two hits. Moving in the bullpen, Francisco Caveda up and loosening in the pen. Number 56. He's Getting nine for 20 well. on the year. That's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball. Tomorrow on deck. Really well right now. He struck out. Strikes he goes. We suck at the plate right now, man. We got to figure something out. Weekly hit. And it's caught. Middle of the night. Who are we putting in? It would be Melvin Week. He has not been good. Right. We do get through it. Extra innings rule in play. Here's John Bauer. Who's off to a hot start this year. Runner on second. Obviously. He's not very fast anymore. Tomorrow used to be a little faster. That is an amazing play by the second baseman. And that's very, very unfortunate for us. Christopher Perez, a 3-2 count. That's really unfortunate as well. He shoots it, and it's caught. Of course it is. Well, this is looking very, very dim. Carter struggled this year. He's our last hope. He went 2-2. Hitting 192. He does have four homers. But we just need a single here. Slow, so 3 2. Carter up the middle. He does come through, and the Nationals finally break this tie. It is 1 0. Finally. Here's Kevin Alcantara, also off to a slow start. So we had to be gifted a base runner to finally score, but Gary Carter comes through. It's 2-2. Two -two. Right side, Almanzar. They take the we get one. We will go to our closer here. It's going to be Jason Bauer. We have John Bauer throwing to Jason Bauer. Or Jason Bauer throwing to John Bauer, sorry. 
He's three for three in save opportunities, and this is just a tough one because the runner's already there. So you're really looking strikeout to start the inning, maybe. That's game, probably. Yep, it's tied already on a weak single. That was quick. Now Tino's going to lay it down, most likely. Kind of shoots it at him. Carter's going to get one. Tino doesn't run great. Double play. Two down. And it'll be Dietz. I'll just skip. Right, we will watch again. Sorry, a longer episode. I just want to see the end. It's right out of guy. That's very unfortunate. So to the nine hole, Marco Luciano. Hitting in the nine hole. He's had a great start to the year. Maybe a little bit of pop in that swing here. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. Rivera on deck. Marco's 0 for 3, Rivera's 0 for 4. I'm not feeling great about our chances, man. But it's 3-1. Probably don't mind walking him. He's had a great start to the year. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine Marco foul. Speed on second's pretty good. We are in the eleven. And yeah, this one is choked. Yeah, not a good episode for the offense. That makes three in a row where we've been held to two runs or less. And we only got this one because of the, the extra inning rule, and we didn't even score in the second one with a runner starting on second. We didn't even get him to third. Now they have the speedster Dietz on base, and this is just trouble. 2-2. Two -two. Bauer in deep need of... We're in deep, deep need of a strikeout. And it's filled up. Big K there. West guy. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. Ball to strike. Swing and a pitch. Miss. One, two. Need this out here. Kath is off to a really rough start this year. Just the one hit. He's been shut down by Taylor again. In our career, actually, Taylor against. Well, I guess this is the wrong thing. We've never had an at bat. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. That's game. Kath, second hit of the year, wins it. Alright, well awfully unfortunate um, outcome. We have 16 Ks, and that means next episode is our 4,000 strikeout mark. It's month number one. I'm not too concerned, but that is a little concerning. Um, but yeah, next episode's title, you already know what it's going to be as we sit at 3,999 Ks. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks' episode 380 in the book, or 480 in the books, or yeah, 480 in the books. <laughs>